Congressman Ro Khanna, a member of the Congressional Progressive Caucus. Congressman, uh, and also the author of the new book, Dignity in a Digital Age, something we're all trying to hang on to uh, in a fast-changing world. Congressman, good to have you with us. Thank you very much for being here. Um, I guess I want to start with that Gallup poll. When you see that shift from, from Democrat to Republican, 7%, what do you think about that? What, what's behind it? But well, it's obviously concerning, but if you read Gallup, they say that those numbers often fluctuate mm -hmm. with the president's uh, approval rating. So in the beginning, uh, there was a 9% increase, actually, for President Biden when he took office. Uh, now, the last uh, month, there has been a negative 5% uh, movement towards the Republicans. The key for this is for the president to recover his poll numbers, and he will do that, in my view, by taking bold action on the supply chain uh, and also taking action to try to reduce prices. Yeah, I know you've said that you would like to see your party shift to those concerns, and we know that those are very top concerns for American people across the country. What about this idea of, of more spending, of another COVID spending bill? Because I know you're concerned about inflation. Well, it depends how it's targeted. I mean, if it is targeted towards small businesses and rural communities uh, where you've seen main streets hollowed out, if it's targeted towards the restaurant owners, who are facing a triple threat. They're facing a shortage of workers, they're facing higher prices, and they're facing COVID, then I'm fine with it. But obviously, if it's just going to go to large corporations or big companies, uh, then that's a problem. So it really has to be targeted properly. But, you know, I, I mean, when you look at the spending, we've already had six trillion dollars allocated. And we, we went through the numbers. You've got four point nine trillion uh, that have been spent and dispersed. OK, so you've got about sixteen and a half billion that's already allocated out there. Sixteen and a half billion dollars. Billion used to mean something uh, in this country in terms of money and eight hundred billion remaining in has, that has not been allocated. So wouldn't, wouldn't you want to start there instead of coming up with new spending programs? Sure. If we can have unallocated money, that's fine. But I think there's two sides to this, Martha. There's money that's going to increase consumer demand. I don't think that's the answer. I think what we want to invest in and things that are going to increase this country's supply, and that would tackle inflation. Invest in things that are going to build more semiconductors. Invest in things that are going to help restaurants stay up and afloat so that we can increase uh, their production. Invest, as uh, Mr. Wonderful actually called for, it, mobilize the National Guard to deal with the logistics of food supply chains. What can we do to produce more in this country? Uh, and I think if it's targeted towards that, that helps inflation as well. Yeah, um, but you, you've called for some change, and you mentioned the possibility of a new CDC director because the confusion is one of the things that has really um, made it so difficult for all of these businesses. They're, you know, masking and testing and all of it makes it very hard for them when they have a lot of regulations they have to follow. Do you think a new CDC director would make a difference? Well, I think what I tweeted out was that Ashish Jha would be wonderful. I think we need someone who is compassionate, who is consistent, and where the messaging is clear. And we need someone who's going to uh, really help make sure that we have testing for everyone, that we have masks for everyone, uh, that we're getting that done. So I had floated Ashish Chah, there may be others, uh, but I do think we need a clearer, better uh, communication. Do you think uh, we should have had the masks and the testing probably on December 1, given what we were seeing happening in South Africa? Sure, absolutely. I, I, I said that. Others have said that. Uh, mm -hmm. Look, it's one thing for the country not to be able to produce semiconductors and that being in Taiwan and South yeah. Korea. That's a real problem. Yeah. But come on, masks, testing, yeah. two years into this? This is America. We should be able to get everyone an N95 mask. Not to mention, we should be able to have universal not testing. Not to mention treatment, we should, um, which most doctors say they love to prescribe, but they can't get their hands on it, uh, which is a big problem as well. Um, Congressman, thank you. Very good to have you with us today. Hope to see you again. Thank you, Martha. You bet.